I feel deeply connected to plants because we are all living things. They provide us with food. And if we don't take care of our source of food, then it won't take care of us. I work as a research officer in plant pathologist at CABI, the Center for Agriculture and Biosciences International. We are plant doctors working towards safer solutions to control plant pests, plant diseases, and helping the farmers. Agriculture is very important in Zambia because it is the main source of income for the majority of the people in the country. We are in Chirundu, an area that has a lot of small-scale maize farmers. This is the area that has been badly affected by climate change. Zambia is experiencing its worst drought in over 40 years. Not only do farmers not have enough water for their production, but their crops are also highly attacked by insect pests, like the devastating four armyworm, because they thrive more where it's drier and where it's warm. Once it attacks your field, if you don't control it, that's it for your crop. Now there's hunger, farmers don't have food, they didn't have anything to harvest. Over six million people in Zambia face acute food shortages. Zambia has one of the highest rates of malnutrition and stunting in Sub-Saharan Africa. Farmers are desperately looking for help. I am promoting biopesticides to eradicate the four armyworm. They are safer to the environment from synthetic pesticides and also promote food safety. Dora is able now to deliver that science to the farmers, backing it with what we actually get from the lab or research work that we do. My work really is there to improve the farmers' lives, to increase their production, transferring the knowledge that I have gotten to them. They need to be aware that these challenges that are coming with climate change are here to stay with us. Over 60% of this population that is in agriculture are women. And so they're the driving force to be able to make changes in that space. We have people like Dora coming in, going into plant science and breaking the norm. She presents an example of what can be achieved by the young ladies. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. In agriculture, we have so many careers. I like contributing positively to the well-being of young people. If I can see one girl moving out of the crowd, inspired, who's now believing in herself, a girl who's not going to just give up, that is amazing. So you are going to sit and develop that career roadmap with somebody that you trust. The road is not always smooth. You're gonna cry one day. You're gonna feel like giving up. So sometimes you just need a voice to guide you, somebody to believe in you. If women see their fellow woman in the key position, they feel free to express themselves, they get motivated. I want to do something that will give Zambia a bright future. There's always something to hold on to and something to believe in. I want to leave them with a hope for tomorrow.